Phototherapy is emerging as a thrilling new mode of therapy, with numerous studies showing it can help in a wide range of chronic conditions, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke, depression and autoimmune disorders. A recently published study showed that phototherapy, in combination with vitamin B2, can even significantly quicken recovery from COVID-19 infection. Dr. Mark Jeffrey is a medical practitioner with over 30 years experience who is a strong advocate for medical phototherapy. He joins me today to talk about the ramifications of the recent study and the ways that the findings can be utilised. Dr. Jeffrey, can you briefly summarise what were the findings of the study? Okay, in this particular study, uh, they utilised a very simple device that has uh, uh, been put together by Professor Michael Weber yep. in Germany, uh, one of the uh, outstanding leaders in this field. And what he did was he took 20 patients uh, who all tested positive for COVID-19 yep. and had a control group of 20 patients that uh, were also positive. He used the riboflavin as a photosensitizer with ultraviolet light yep. and his spectra laser watch and the conclusions that came out of the study that of the 20 patients that had the light therapy, 14 of those patients tested negative yeah. with a qPCR test which is not like the standard PCR test it's actually a quantitative uh, PCR to measure viral load okay. and the remaining uh, six patients symptomatically were better yep. uh, with a much less viral load and compared to the control group the patients had no improvement in their symptoms and continued to test positive so overall it uh, demonstrated in this very small study that uh, photodynamic inactivation of viruses using riboflavin B2 could be a useful product to have uh, if you do become infected with the virus uh, as a form of treatment. Oh yeah, because Vaccinations are really important, obviously, but there's always going to be people that get the infection. There's going to be probably some people that end up not getting vaccinated. Um, and even vaccination doesn't fully protect you anyway, does it? You can still actually get the virus, can't you? Well, yes, and we're seeing this in, in the UK at the moment where they had 7,000 new cases of uh, the Delta variant uh, yeah. just in the last few days. Yeah. Um, so we need therapies, definitely, to help. So what is actually in this viral inactivation kit? Okay, well, Dr. Weber very kindly sent me one of these kits oh, wow. uh, over and I'd like to stress in the very beginning here, I have no financial interest <laughs> yeah. you know, in, in this yeah. type of device. And yeah. essentially it comes with what we call a Spectra watch, which is this watch here. Oh wow. When it comes on, what we do uh, is we activate the watch. Yep. That's really cool. As you can see oh, there. Wow. <laughs> now, once we've taken the riboflavin, it's been in our, circulated through our body within half an hour. This light therapy activates that. If there's any systemic COVID, the effect of the photodynamic inactivation of the virus occurs. He's also put together very ingeniously a throat applicator as well as a nasal applicator and I'll talk about that a bit later. The kit also comes with a, 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 a sterilization chamber so you can use it in your whole family. Oh yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, it comes with a nasal applicator yep. and a throat applicator. So once you've made up your solution from this, which is very easy, you spray your throat and you inject the solution into your nose. Wow. Okay. That's really cool. So how is it meant to be used? Like if, if I've say got the virus or I've been exposed to the virus, how would I actually use it? Well, if you've come across somebody you know that's infected, yep. uh, and I'm not, uh, or you feel that you're developing symptoms that could be COVID-related, yep. then essentially what you would do is start your treatment 
with this device. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to remember that right now there is no uh, pharmaceutical product that I'm aware of that can kill the virus in the nose and in the back of the mouth, nor systemically at this stage. That's true. That yeah. can be used in the community. Yeah. Um, so many of our testing for COVID has been related to doing PCR tests. People that come up positive on their PCR test may not need hospital, but if they feel unwell, could use this kit. They could treat their family around them and any uh, if, were, if, if, if it was freely available, other con uh, contacts as well. Well, what about prophylactically? Like if you've come from overseas and you're in hotel quarantine, say, could you use it even if you don't have symptoms? Like just absolutely, absolutely, yeah. because the the uh, the photodynamic inactivation of viruses is very simply based on a dye, uh, light therapy activating a dye or photosensitizer, yeah. and that causes uh, very intense free oxygen radical species. Oh. and that uh, essentially breaks down cellular membranes and viruses, knocks out the nucleic acid. So if anybody is carrying virus, and I suppose in many ways we could be calling this asymptomatic, yeah. or is actually sick with the virus, as with the study that uh, was done, uh, it would shorten the duration of the illness, but also uh, reduce the risk. So I see it as something that would be useful for workers in, co in quarantine that could get infections and equally with the elderly yeah. who are exposed to this virus, they've got something very easy to use in uh, the vulnerable uh, elderly aged care facilities, yeah. Wow, does it work with um, other viruses as well? Like Correct. other risk groups, wow, okay. Can, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But we have to remember that um, COVID-19 replicates far faster. That's why it's a much more virulent virus than any other virus uh -huh. within our nasal cavities and the back of our mouth. And that's the beauty of this treatment. There is no resistance to this type of treatment. Yeah. Variants cannot become resistant to this type of treatment because it's a photodynamic inactivation of the viruses. Oh wow, that is really cool. So how does it actually combat viruses? Okay. When I was um, asked by Suvi to give this discussion, in many ways I thought about it and I kind of felt that the purpose of this uh, discussion was about very similar to the movies Back to the Future. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I have called this Back to the Future. <laughs> well, the reason I called it Back yeah. was that in the uh, photodynamic therapy was actually first used in bacteria oh. in the beginning of the 20th century and we do use ultraviolet light to sterilize blood. Uh, we you, we use it in other solutions or uh, that, that need to be decontaminated. So, yeah. so for me, it's about going back to something that's always been there yeah. and the future, well, I think it, it's a futuristic idea and clever idea by Dr. Weber in that what we're actually doing is utilizing a very useful form of photodynamic inactivation. So, yeah. What, and there will be further applications uh, with, uh, with um, photodynamic therapy. But uh, for the purpose of this discussion, yep. I've loaded up the nasal the sorry the throat applicator, and here's my COVID virus. <laughs> yep. And what happens is now this is in the back of my mouth, if you can imagine. And what's happened? We've gone and sprayed the back of our throat with riboflavin and this is now coating the virus. And that's the B2, vitamin B2. The vitamin B2, yeah. that's correct. And now what we're gonna do, and remember when we put this light uh, in our mouth, there are millions and millions of photons of light going into our oral airway and nasal airway and there are also millions of viral particles as well. Yeah. So when this light is exposed into the uh, back of the throat, it breaks down the lipid layer. So what happens is the light is there, it's coming close, and what happens, the light breaks down the cellular membrane of the COVID uh, virus and... Oh! <laughs> that is, and that's really good, that worked. And that destroys the virus. And this is all we have left of the virus after it exploded upon me. 
<laughs> but the, that is great. The free oxygen uh, radical species that are generated by photodynamic therapy are extremely powerful. So all I can say is we've been back, we're going to the future. Yeah. Photodynamic inactivation of viruses, in this case uh, COVID-19 virus, is a useful option for people that are in contact with people that have COVID. If you're traveling overseas and you don't know uh, whether you can get COVID again, yeah. this is a great tool to have with you. So thank you so much, Dr. Jeffrey, for your time. And where would people go if they want to um, get further information about this? For this particular um, device, uh, which has published studies on it, and they have done trials in, in, in patients, yeah. uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's got a reputable backing behind it. Uh, you should contact uh, Weibo Medical, uh, very simply uh, go to their website and um, make contact and get further information from there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>